What up, guys? It's your boy, Wild Beasy Baby, here to react to Ring of Honor's Final Battle 2019 pay-per-view that took place Friday night on the 13th of December. It was a very shocking, surprising, wig-splitting, head-cracked-in-half type of show. For a multitude of reasons, let's take a deep dive and go right into it. We had Kenny King defeating Rhett Titus in a grudge match on the uh, pre-show portion of the show. And we also had uh, Jeff Cobb defeating Dan Math. I thought that was quite interesting. And then uh, on the main card, we had... Villain Enterprises losing to, um, it was, um, fuck, who was it? I can't even remember. The, the Luchador guys with the mask. And then, as you already know, uh, the next night, uh, last night, Marty went to the NWA. Oh, boy. Really thought he was going to go to AEW or, or NXT. I, I just, I'm shocked that, at how... All that went down. That opening contest, though, was absolutely tremendous. But I'll tell you what was a blunder. Seeing my pick, Matt Taven, lose to Vinny Marcellia. It was a decent match. It ended a little abruptly. Um, I thought it should have been a little bit longer. And come to find out, the whole reason it felt short and uh, rushed was because... They, Ring of Honor uh, management felt the need to add a bonus match to the pay-per-view card. And Alex Shelley and, and Colt Cabana. That match should have been on the pre-show. It had no business being on pay-per-view. And, and it ruined... I wouldn't say it ruined, but it definitely affected the Matt Taven and Vinny Marcellian match. Like, that match easily could have gotten under six or seven minutes. It, it was the most anticipated match on the entire card. And, and it was cut short for, for that fucking match. And I find that to be absolute bullshit. Didn't agree with that at all. And uh, another upset of the evening, we had Dragon Lee defeat Shane Taylor, ending his uh, very long extended title reign. Definitely, definitely didn't see that coming. And in something that was even more shocking than that... Maria Manic, not just defeated Angelina Love, but completely dominated her. It reminded me of the Brock Lesnar-John uh, Cena match from SummerSlam 2014. I mean, it was just a complete slaughter in that house in the UMBC arena in Baltimore. I just, I didn't see that coming. Like, yeah, I wanted to see Maria get the victory, but I didn't want to see her squash one of my favorites. Didn't want to see her dog walker like that. I, just, I thought it would have been more of a competitive uh, situation, and it wasn't. I wouldn't say it was a blunder, but it definitely was not thunder. But honestly, for what it was, I did enjoy it, so I would give it a thumbs up. It was, it was a decent squash, and it was an extended squash. Oh, yeah. And that um, wasn't the only title to change hands, the television title. We had... History be made. We had Jay Lethal and the octopus Jonathan Gresham become the very first African-American black tag team to capture the Ring of Honor tag team titles in history. First time ever. Thought that was absolute thunder. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Oh, yes. And in the biggest shocker of the entire night, PCO somehow, someway, defeated Roosh, and he is officially the oldest person at, I believe, 51 years old to hold the Ring of Honor world title. You know, if that goes to show, it's never too late and you're never too old to do anything in life, you know. No, that was a very inspirational moment. That's a really nice thing to see. All his decades of, of being in the industry finally paid off and now he's finally achieved his dream that almost every wrestler has at one point and that's to be a world champion 
And that, again, is absolute thunder. Put that it down. Gotta say, this, this was one of the most shocking Ring of Honor offerings that I've seen. I might, or I dare say ever. Like, just every, when you thought it was going to go one way, it went the other way. I really enjoyed the show for what it was. I thought it was pretty decent. It still showed that Ring of Honor still can be the best pro wrestling on the planet. And they can still pull the wig off your skull. And they can still blow your mind when they really want to. I just, it was a lot of surprises for me. Like,